Hello and welcome to my channel. First of all, I'd just like to say sorry about the state of my hands. I had to take my nails off very carefully because I've got a dog that's due to give birth tonight, so I'll be up all night with her probably. But anyway, back to my um, designs. Today I'm going to do stamping and I'm using this plate here. And I'm going for these really cool looking designs here, just a black and white set. So nice and simple. So I'm gonna do two coats of white on all of the tips to start with. Right, that's two coats and out of the lamp. So I'm going to get my Glitter Planet stamping polish. I'm going to do this one here. Actually, before I start, I'll just get some acetone and I'll just wipe the plate. I think that might help. Because last time I tried to do stamping, the first one didn't do very well. But once I'd wiped it with acetone, it seemed to be better. So I'll just wipe that. I don't know if it makes any difference, it's just what I've noticed. So get in the Glitter Planet black. It's quite a big square actually. <laughs> So scraping that down like that. I've got the image, really clear image, that's lovely that. And then I'm just going to make it so that that triangle is in the centre. It's actually quite hard because I can't see the full nail, it's such a busy print. Um, I'll just go for it. and hope. So going up and then going down. Oops. Little bit strandy floaty. If you just wipe them, they tend to just fall off. There we go. So that's the first one. And there it is top coated with the Mo You London top coat. I use this, as I said in the last video, because it is specifically for uh, stamping. Sometimes when you use a top coat, it can smudge or melt the stamping a little bit. So I like to use their own top coat, Mo You, um, because it doesn't damage it. So that will dry naturally. It doesn't go under a lamp. And then once it's dry, I'll just tidy up those sides, but that's the first nail done. So doing this pattern here next. I made a boo-boo. I haven't cleaned my stamper. Everyone makes mistakes. There we go. Hope it's not too late. No, it's still okay. So there we have a nice crisp pattern. And again, trying to get that centre. With it being so busy, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see, so you've just got to guess. So look at the nail, guess where the centre is, and then push down. And again, look, it's got all those little flyaways, so I just push, push them down, like that. Right, so that's two done and you can see there's a little bit left at the bottom where it's not reached so I'll just get a black uh, paint, probably the black paint gel from Madame Glam and I'll just get a fine brush and I'll do an extra squirrel there, just sort of fill in the little bits. But first of all, um, protect it with the Moyu top coat so you can see you can touch that now and that's okay and I've just done the same on that one. 
So I was going to go with just the three patterns, but I quite like this one as well, and it's a bit different, so it breaks the nail setup. So I'm going to do this one next. So same thing. I suppose they've done them this big so that you can choose whichever bit you want. I, I, I mean, no one's got a nail that wide, so that must be the reasoning. So again, just taking the pattern like that. Try and get it in the center. push down. It is really hard to get it in the centre. I was trying to go a little bit lower than that but there you go. Sorry for all the squeaks and groans in the background. It's the babies. It's that time of year. So now I'm just going to clean this plate. Cleans lovely with, with acetone, just really quick. And remember to do the stamp so you're prepared for the next one. There we go. Right, on to the next one. So just gently rolling it across and you get the pattern. And then just hope for the best. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so good. That's Mr. Whole Piece. Right, okay, saved. So just pressing the sides down like that and letting that settle. And then for the last one before the touch ups, we'll just do the circle again. center and pushing oh, missed a bit I don't think I can line that up I will try but I don't think it's gonna work no I don't think that's gonna work no I'll do that with with my paint. Right, so going back to the first one, I've got my black gel paint here. And I've got my Wow Bow brush. So I just want to dip the very tip in and just roll it onto my pad so it's a nice thin line. And then just draw a line like that just finishing off basically any bits that are missing like that and this way so that's all you're doing, you're just going over the bits that you've missed to 
to fill in the whole nail. So again this one, a little tiny bit, and I mean tiny, it's like, where are you? Can't get the angle. There. It's like that, and then just rolling it on the pad, and then just filling in the black line. Just filling it in. Because nobody's going to look at your nails that clearly, but it's just to fill it in so that it looks nice when you look at your nails. So you see how that's just filled that in at the bottom? This one's a bit trickier. This one. Um, it's sort of like... squares and shapes. So if you just fill a little bit in, it won't look as obvious. like that. And this one is very, very fine lines. So just lots and lots of lines. it is quite hard to get a perfect crisp image when you're stamping so always be prepared to touch up just a little bit more off that brush so here we're just sort of filling in these lines that are going in a circle which won't be as easy as the straight lines but we'll give it a go And then just darkening them, filling them to the sides. Like that. It's just a few little bits here. So again, you're just following that swirl. I'll just get a bit more on my brush. So you just, where was I? Following the swirls like that. Just filling it in. There we go, all done. And here's the reveal, all done. And I popped a little bow in the middle of that one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.